What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create a block of ice in Procreate. Now here's what I have in terms of layers so far. I have the usual background color. I have it at a dark blue. I have the flat color for a cube and a couple of layers that I'm going to reveal at the end of the video. And then I have the line work of the cube. But one of these line works doesn't have whatever it is behind it. But this one does. As you can see there's a difference. So we're going to focus on this line work for now, but with that being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is duplicate this layer, then move it down so that way it's above the cube flat color layer. So now what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to make that top layer invisible. So this will be invisible. So let's uncheck that box. And now we're going to take this layer and we're going to invert it. So that way it's a white. So now we're going to take that layer and blur it. So we're going to go to the magic wand tool and hit Gaussian blur. And now it's blurred. And now hopefully you can see that, but there's still some white line work throughout that cube. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this layer and we're going to duplicate it some more. So that way we make the white more visible. So see how that white is coming up now. But see now it doesn't really look like a Gaussian blur. Now it just looks so flat. So now we're going to take Gaussian blur again. And repeat that same step. Okay. But now since this layer is on top of the flat color layer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to cube flat color. We're going to tap the thumbnail and hit select. Okay. And now we're going to go down here to the bottom and hit invert. So that way we're selecting everything outside of that cube. So now go back to our layers. Now go to the white layer. And then up at the top, hit the arrow. Then we're just going to drag that portion off the screen. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can duplicate this layer some more so that the white is still visible. We're not going to blur anymore. So if you feel that the white is too light for this layer, what you can do is take two fingers at the same time and tap on that layer. And then opacity will come up. So what you can do is make the opacity a smaller number and see how that white layer gets more transparent as we move down. But we don't want it to be too dull, so we want to move it to light. Somewhere close to the 70s is okay. Alright. So now tap the magic wand tool out and now we're going to go to this line work so we're going to pretty much do the same thing but not exactly so what I'm going to do is make a new layer on top of it then we're going to select my coloring brush and now let's make this line work visible so now we're going to follow all the other lines that don't have white parts so like here actually let's make that bigger Okay, so now we're going to go to our magic wand tool again and hit Gaussian Blur. I'm going to blur it enough. Now we're going to go back to the cube flat layer. Tap the thumbnail and hit select. Invert and drag everything else off the screen. Okay. Now we can get rid of the line work. So now let's move this layer down and we're gonna keep that as a separate layer. Now let's move the cube line work layer up. Because when we reveal this layer at the end, it'll look super cool. So that's why we're gonna keep these two on their different layers, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the cube flat layer and we're gonna make another new layer. Now I'm gonna go to my brushes and hit my special texture effect brush. Okay, and now since it's super huge, we're gonna apply that texture all throughout the canvas. But really, we only want it inside the cube. So we're gonna do what we did again. Hit cube flat layer, tap the thumbnail, hit select, invert, and everything else drag off the screen. And now it appears that the white parts on the cube are less visible now. 
So what we did earlier was reduce the opacity of it to make it less visible. So now let's take two fingers, tap on that layer, and make it more visible again. However, we can do that with the other line work layer. So let's go down here. I'm gonna double tap that layer. And we're gonna make that a little bit visible. So that way we give the ice cube some depth. See, it's still kind of visible, but we know it's there. And it looks like we're about done. So now let me take this reveal at end layer then I'm gonna reveal that so that way we see what the ice cube looks like as if there's something frozen inside of it. So, visible. Yeah, see? You got a banana frozen inside of a block of ice, which looks super cool when I apply it. But here's what the layers look like for that layer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make an ice cube in Procreate. Here's all my layers, including the reveal at end layers that I used in this video. So that way if you want to follow along with this video, you can do that. So these are what my layers look like. But that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.